Why do your concussion symptoms get worse with physical activity? Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Heisig. I'm a concussion specialist. We're going to talk about why your symptoms get worse with physical activity um, after a concussion. We know that physical activity tends to make symptoms worse after concussion. Uh, we know that it tends to fall within 50 and 70% of someone's heart rate max, but why? Um, why does that happen? What's the mechanism? Because maybe if we can find that mechanism, we can better fine tune the treatment. We can maybe come up with a new therapy. Um, typically in the field of medicine, it's can we create a drug? Um, but what we're finding here is it's probably some sort of active therapy that we can do. Um, and so what they found is that concussion patients at rest have a higher sensitivity to CO2. And CO2 is a driver of blood flow. So if I was sitting here doing bicep curls, um, you know, I don't have very big arms, but regardless, if I'm sitting here doing bicep curls, eventually I'm gonna to start to produce more CO2 because I'm creating a bunch of energy and a byproduct of creating that energy is gonna be CO2. And that CO2 acts as a signal to vasodilate, make my blood vessels bigger so that I can drive more nutrients to that working and active muscle. So you have a sensitivity to CO2 that's heightened after concussion. And what that means is that your baseline blood flow, your baseline kind of blood vessels are gonna be a little bit more dilated and a little bit more flow. And they think that this might actually be protective. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. But what happens is as you physically exert yourself, as you start to move and exercise on the bike or as you're walking on the treadmill or as you're doing anything, your CO2 levels start to rise and that brain blood flow isn't as regulated and you vasodilate too much. And that leads to headache, head pressure, fogginess, dizziness, nausea, all the symptoms you kind of experience after a concussion. Um, and it's because you're getting way too much blood flow relative to the CO2 that's in your system. We think this might actually be protective because uh, after concussion, there's an energy deficit and there's a blood flow dysregulation. And so one of the things that we think is that this heightened sensitivity, heightened sensitivity to CO2 might be a way to maintain a certain level of fuel at rest to this kind of energy deficient brain. And when you start to do something that might increase blood flow too much, you get this excess flow of blood to create these symptoms to kind of self-regulate and self-govern uh, your activity level so that you won't do things when you feel nauseous or headachey or, or terrible. From a rehab front, one of the things we want to do is improve your CO2 tolerance. We want to improve um, that sensitivity and that relationship to CO2 so that you can properly regulate blood flow. So you can return to your sport or to your normal physical activity. One of the ways we'll do this is we'll do what's called a Buffalo concussion treadmill test where we'll take you right up to that point of symptoms and then we'll stop that test because we don't want to exert you too much and we don't want to exacerbate your symptoms too much but we'll take you right up to where those symptoms flare and then we're going to prescribe exercise at a percentage of that dose so that it is sub symptom threshold exercise so that we can continue to move that needle until you don't have symptoms anymore with exercise why do you get symptoms one of the reasons we think you get symptoms of physical activity is because you're just way too sensitive to co2 and what we can do to rehab that is actually give you sub symptom threshold exercise uh, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about concussion and PCS, go ahead and give my account a follow. Thank you for watching.